Magandang araw! Welcome sa Clark in Focus, ang programa ng Clark Development Corporation kaugnay sa mga pinakabago at pinakamahalagang kaganapan sa Clark Freeport Zone. Sa ngalan ni Andre Benedict Rivera, ako si Peter Alagos. Para sa Locator in Focus, highly skilled workers at state-of-the-art machinery ang ipinagmamalaki ng Lakshmi Building Envelope Manufacturing Technologies. Dahil dito, kumpiyansa ang designer, manufacturer at installer ng curtain wall at glass facade na kaya nilang makipagsabayan sa international market. Ang Lakshmi Building Envelope Manufacturing and Technologies ay isang kumpanya dito sa Clark na designer, manufacturer, exporter at installer ng mga aluminum curtain wall maging mga bintana at pinto na gawa sa espesyal na salamin. Ang factory nito na may sukat na humigit kumulang 5,000 square meters ay matatagpuan sa Philexel Business Park dito sa Clark Freeport Zone. Ayon kay Winston Rareza, manager ng Lakshmi, ang nasabing kumpanya ay ipinangalan sa Diyosa ng mga Hindu na nangangahulugang Good Luck. The company, the, the factory uh, was built in 2013, then we started operational in the middle of 2014. The company was originally from uh, Australia. When the, the Chinese started to penetrate Australia, we decided to come here so we can, uh, we can compete with them. So the factory was brought here. It's the founder of the company is a uh, fan of uh, hiking. So he used to hike in the Himalayas. Uh, he tracks, so he found the name Lakshmi there. It's something uh, called a, a wealth and prosperity. So it's a Hindu goddess. And, yeah, that's how, how it started. The name started, originated from this uh, hiking in the Himalayas. Do a uh, curtain wall. It's uh, glass and aluminum. If you see the buildings now that they are covered with glass, that's what we do. Originated from a uh, uh, window, window concept. So I think he, it came out that why don't we put a bigger view when the, the, the curtain wall I think started. So most of the building nowadays are fully covered with glass. There's a lot of uh, green thing that is incorporating the curtain wall now. So we, we, we control the, the, the coming of the, the sunlight inside the building. Yes. So in the winter they say that uh, you keep uh, the heat inside, but during the summer you keep the heat outside. Bukod sa pagkakaroon ng highly skilled manpower dito sa bansa, nagbigay rin si Rareza ng mga advantages sa pagninegosyo, particular dito sa Clark. Um, the people that they, they can speak fluent English and then, yeah, they, they, they are, there's a lot of uh, things to consider for putting it here. And then, you know, they, most of the people here can work with minimal supervision. So, you just give them something to do and they can they can uh, progress on whatever needs to be done on a certain level. Um, currently, yeah, we have uh, 30 in the factory and other 20 in the office. We are looking to, uh, to increase the manpower as soon as uh, we, we have the materials coming in. But we are doing special uh, products that they have to have some uh, background in, in the same industry for, for the workers inside. But for, and for, the, for the staff, we need the engineering and quality engineers they also have to have experience in a similar uh, industry. You can always train them, but at least we have somebody who has uh, no uh, glass and aluminum. 
which I think we have a lot uh, here in the Philippines. And that's what the reason why we came here. We know that there are a lot of highly skilled uh, workers. That is the sister company in Australia that uh, we do production here and then we ship in the install. 94 installations. Um, for the last two projects that we did, the, the aluminum came from Dubai mm -hmm. and the glass came from China, Switzerland and Dubai as well. Getting materials around the globe. Yeah, um, this, this, this uh, facility can, uh, in terms of uh, square meter, we can uh, do a 450 square meter of uh, unitized curtain wall, like the panel that uh, is ready made already and just put on the side. So we have two lines in the factory, so we can uh, seal it with uh, the capacity of 30 to 60 panels today. 60 panels? We have a, yeah, a big uh, job in the pipeline already. So we are starting to mantle now. Yeah. We are already planning to, to hire people that will start by early next year. We need the engineering and quality engineers. Not necessarily from the third year because we can always train them. But at least we have somebody who has uh, know of uh, glass and aluminum. I think yeah, the industry like this will will will, uh, will be here in the coming years because uh, I've heard that uh, the, this this place, the Clark, uh, will be developed. So as long as there's development, we'll always be there, and we always make the buildings look nice. Pagmamalaki pa ng manager ng Lakshmi, bentahin nito ang pagkakaroon ng state of the art na mga makina. Kaya naman kumpiyansa silang makipagsabayan sa kaparehong industriya sa ibang bansa man. I think it's, it's the factory and the machinery. We have a cutting edge machinery. It's, uh, we, we source our machines from uh, Europe. Most of it is from Europe. So, yeah, and, and, and the others that came from the, 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 the other machines that really doesn't require much uh, cutting edge is uh, from China. So, future plans? Um, yeah, we, we are really um, pushing hard to, to penetrate the market. So uh, I think we just need to, to uh, play with the, with the other contractors, fair and, fair and square. But from from outside Clark, as I already uh, told you, that um, we, we can we, we we are planning just to supply them. Mm -hmm. They have a contract and they don't have a capacity. They can come to us and. But then we cannot just order, we have to, to, to see the drawings, we have to see the material, what kinds of uh, raw materials we need, and then we have to go in a contract. So for example, for us, if a turn, we do a turnkey, we have to participate in a bidding, tendering, and once we, we win the job, then we have to coordinate with the owner, with their uh, consultants, the architects, the designers, and we have to design it according to what they, they're looking. So after designing, then we have to procure materials as per the design, and then from there, we produce, we manufacture here, then we install. So there is an engineering part there, which is very critical. So once the job is awarded, we have to, we, have, we, we spend more performance uh, doing the design. We have a system, lots we have a system that we use already, and we just need to match it, or we just need to agree with the consultants or with the architect that we have this kind of system. We can adapt it to, to your specs, and then, if not, then we have to redesign and we have to introduce another system. There is always on the contract when you when you go on the bidding or tender, there's always a proposal system. So from there you have to evaluate it because I haven't really experienced rejecting yes, uh, our system because we test these things. We, we put it in a laboratory where we test it. So in terms of, of performance, yes. we cannot uh, and it, it, it's calculated. So there's rejection is more on the on the visual and and the, the our main system. I don't think it will be rejected, but most is it's the glass. It's the color of the glass. When they approve that, we have to sign. Everybody sign on the specimen, and we keep that aside and we order it. Yeah, for it's three years we haven't really had uh, an accident. That's what you said, safety. So I would say how many working hours that we have? No zero accidents. Um, what is called my own manpower? The, most of the people here can work with minimal supervision. So that's, I think that's a trait of the Filipino. You just give them something to do and they can, they can uh, progress on whatever needs to be done in certain jobs. Yeah. Which I think we have a lot uh, here in the Philippines. And that's what the reason why we came here. We know that there are a lot of highly skilled uh, workers. Um, like what I said, they said that uh, we have an existing uh, system for designs already. But then when there is a uh, job that comes in with a 
with the uh, not a crazy thing but uh, uh, a bit uh, different than the normal then we design it and from, from that process we will innovate to match the requirement of the project. Kinumusta din namin ang kanilang negosyo dito sa Clark at narito ang naging sagot ni Mr. Rareza. I think uh, it's better than if we went outside. I mean, traffic-wise, we don't have any traffic here. And then costumes, we have processing here. Then if you, you, you're outside, then I think you will have a lot of difficulties uh, processing because we are online, we are processing our permits online. Yes, we can. Doing here, is, is, first thing is the, the tax. We don't pay tax for, from being here. As long as we can we sustain the 70-30, yeah. then we are all right here. And then, as I said, the traffic and uh, you're, you're near to everything. The airport. So when, when we import materials, it's just coming from China, then we have Subic. So we export them, we can also export from Subic. So I think it's a, it's a strategically placed yes. it's to be here in the industry. Sa nakaabang na plano ng pamahalaan na magtayo ng mga infrastruktura at patuloy na demand sa aluminum curtain walls at mga kagayang produkto, malaki ang pag-asa ng Lakshmi Building Envelope Manufacturing and Technologies na higit pang lalakas ang kanilang manufacturing business dito sa Clark.